ITPC. I went for a little drive today. I'm trying to turn in the parking lot here. Uh, went to my local tobacco and cigar shop. And uh, if I can find a place to park. Yeah. But, yep, we're going to go inside and we're going to check out their tobaccos and their. Uh, I might just get myself a new pipe. It all depends on what they got. Uh, it's a little ways from my place. It's, it is, it's called the uh, Boxcar Cigars and Tobacco Shop. They use a, they have a bunch of trains. They got different shops and they got a brewery, uh, distillery down at the end. There's four. Yeah, four cars that they use. Here, I'll flip it around and let you show you. And right here, you can't really see it over the car. It's boxcar, boxcar cigars. This one here, I think, is empty. And then over there is the distillery called Derailed Distillery. So if they're open, I might check them out too. Well, I was talking with Bella inside, and he's not the owner, so he didn't want to say yes that they, we could do some shooting inside, some video inside the shop. Uh, but I'll show you what we all got here. Let me get situated, and uh, you'll have to excuse mess. I've got a bunch of stuff laying around. I was, I was just at a, uh, went down to a gun range. But uh, here, bring it back around. Put that up there to the side. I got myself got myself some Virginia. Uh, this is this tobaccos that they carry. Got myself some Turkish. So I am going to be making some more Hobbit weed. Uh, some Black Cavendish. Two ounces. Four ounces of that. And some uh, Cap Cherry Cavendish. Yeah, so what we're going to do is I'm going to head on back home and uh, I'm going to mix up some of my blend. The wife really likes that hobbit weed. She loves the smell of that. So we're going to mix some of that up. And uh, we will be going and uh, show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some my uh, blend hobbit weed. It is... Uh, Anybody can make it. I mean, it's on the internet. Just look up the recipe for uh, Hobbit's weed. And uh, so we're going to blend that up and uh, I'll set you up and let's get to it. Okay, this is my blend. Uh, I got this stuff once before from down there when I picked up some pipes. But uh, what we have here is a Virginia. It's just a, uh, a sweet type of ribbon cut. We've got the Black Cavendish, which is a, uh, it's very, a very moist tobacco. So once I put this out, we'll be, we'll be having to let this dry for a bit. Uh, it's not real bad. But, uh, and the berry cherry and some Turkish. Uh, what it calls for uh, the Turkish I am I got I got four ounces of that uh, but I got two ounces and uh, four ounces of the black Cavendish they're different sizes because of the difference in weights that's why but what I am wanting to make is mostly all uh, of the Hobbit wheat 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be pouring it into a bowl. Wife is not here, so don't tell her I use this bowl. <laughs> She'll get all bent. But, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take, estimate, I'll probably leave, I'll probably take two-thirds of what is in this bag. So that in, this is the Virginia, another cherry cabin, or a cherry Cavendish, very cherry Cavendish, which I want to leave a little bit on the side, a little bit left over just so I can make because I like smoking it uh, as it is also and then we'll throw just a little bit of Turkish in here and, um, and when you blend that's a little bit more than what I wanted that's okay Let's throw it back in here that's good. So, what we will do is just blend this by hand. Just turn it. I'll tell you what, it's not really that black cabin. It's really ain't as damp as I was thinking it was. mess I mean and give you guys a look at what she looks like you can see the mixtures the different of colors now I do have a jar here of just what I've had mixed of my uh, hobbit weed from before which is that's how much left I got left or maybe a bowl We'll put that in there. Just mix it around. I need to get another mason jar. And uh, so, because uh, we got about four to five ounces, and these hold two, two and a half ounces each. So I got to grab another jar. Okay, I'm back. And this is the best way to store your tobacco is, is putting them in mason jars. Don't leave them in your bag because within three to three to four weeks the the tobacco goes uh, gets dry and goes bad. Um, I need to grab a piece of paper now. I forgot. All right. <clears throat> Now, all I'm going to do is just make myself a makeshift funnel. They do have funnels for canning, which I, I thought about getting one, but I didn't. This is what you're going to We'll just take some, bring it out here onto the paper. It may take a few times to get it all in there, but.
and this is the pipe I bought. I'll give you guys kind of a better up close view of it. It's a Mr. Borg. Uh, it doesn't have a real identifying grain to it, but it, it's not bad at all. I like the shape of the bowl. Uh, thicker because it doesn't get so hot when I'm smoking it. Uh, the, uh, the bit is wide. I kind of like that because I can I can grip it better. Uh, this is not a filtered uh, filtered pipe and the bowl is already pre-lined. Let's see if I can get this to focus for you. Maybe not. But it has a line, it is lined with carbon. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. But I smoked part of, uh, maybe filled it one third to a half uh, to start breaking this thing and build a cake. Smooth, smooth smoking pipe. Uh, I can't complain. I can't complain. Uh, but, uh, I will look in on Amazon or see maybe I can find because there's no markings, no markings on the pipe. What so freaking ever? There is no printing, so that does tell you that it's a it's a cheap pipe. You know, hey, thirty five bucks, what do you expect? But I like the shape, I like the way it holds, and uh, we're gonna pack her up one more time and. Uh, well, here in a short bit, and uh, get this thing broken in. But, uh, no, guys, so thank you for stopping by uh, on my little journey. Uh, go and check that place out. It's called uh, Boxcar Cigar and Tobacco. It is in Volant, Pennsylvania. They have a website they can ship. So, go check them out. But we're going to call it a wrap, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. You all take care, and thank you to the YTPC. We'll talk to you all later.